In 2010, uh, I've got a, a quite a big case full of stuff. I found no less than three globe toys or novelties, which is extraordinary. It's the same thing. This one revolves, that one will revolve when I wound it up, and this one turns inside out and does bizarre things. So let me show them one at a time. I do love things which have something different from the normal, and these certainly have. This one here, for instance, is a French one. It's got a piece that that bit at the uh, for the base. This is now re still revolving. It's revolving because inside is simply a, a, a single battery. There we are, and a motor, and a motor. So that's easy enough to do, isn't it? Is it now? I use these these special batteries called lithium ones, which give a little bit more oomph. And I need that for many of my toys. So you've got to set it up so that the actual continents are not drifting. I think we're getting a bit of continental drift at the moment. Where's South America? There we are. There's boom, 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 boom. There we are. Is it? Yeah. There's Africa, that's right. And then you push this into here like that. It's slightly tapered. And it sits on a bench looking very, very charming. And revolves gently around once it started going. And keeps going for, well, several hours probably. It's, uh, it's quite a, it's quite a, you know, probably a few days actually it's quite a good long running um battery that as they last well so that's a superb piece well done the french nice one next one i picked up in a japanese shop would you believe in the middle of london i think they're closed now it's sad this is actually two little wooden balls and a box and there's magnets here incidentally and the box is yep a musical box so what you have to do is switch the thing on well, wind it up like that, and it's playing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, my favourite. Then what you do is you put these on, and because these two balls have got magnets to them, well, let me show you the effect. That one goes on first. That's nice, because it's the Earth revolving, isn't it? And the other one will find its own... Oh, yes, that's going as well. Oh, but something wrong here. It's playing Twinkle to a little star, but that's the moon and the earth. Oh dear. Perhaps they ought to do another different tune, like how high is the moon, do you think, or what? But then we Or blue moon we could have, oh yes, lots of other ones. But anyway, they've chosen the wrong tune, but you can point out to kids that that is not a star, it's just the moon. Nice one. The last one isn't musical or motorized at all. It's just a wonderful bit of um, technology, this, because it opened them and showed up to camera, actually, because it's a superb bit of... It's a, it was a magnet at the bottom there where the South Pole is. That's just a little switch there. But there's it's a four-piece... It's like a, like a Rubik's Cube, in a way, but there we are. There's a ball in the centre which helps to pull the pieces together. And you can see there's more going on inside. What you're supposed to do is turn each piece round, which I haven't yet managed to do, and it turns into a geographical map of the, of the world. I'll show you the box in a sec to show you the effect. But that is therefore, well, I've got a finger, there we are. I'll hold it like that. And I can hold it like that and roughly turn it round. It's a square world. That's what a, that wonderful comedian in the British television talked about. It's a square world. Very nicely done. And it sits on a plinth like that. And when you're minded to and you want to turn it round, well, this is what you do. This is what I'm going, hopefully going to reach. That's what the picture you're seeing there, and that's what you're going to get. Nights for ge the geographical features with no no countries or no names in it, just geography as you'd see it coming from a satellite. So we'll have a quick go at just trying to dismantle it and see what happens. Shall we pull those apart like that? Oops, they're all falling away as well. Yes, the problem is the magnets are all in the centre, and then you can... I've got to find how to put these pieces round. Oh goodness me. Where's that? I have no idea. It's easier on the on the outside because you've got all the words to read. This one here, you've got to go entirely by the pictures, it looks like. Something like that. No, it's got to be um, South America. I, uh, 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 I'm going to be... That's definitely Antarctica, but you've got the idea. I think eventually I will find myself with a globe of the world reformed, a square world, but it's a geographical one, not uh, not, not 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 the country, not the polit political boundaries and things. So, a wonderful effect that. A very very nice multi puzzle. It certainly is. It's a good one. So all from one case, three wonderful globes. Huh. <laughs>